So let's begin with the seven terrace meditation experience by focusing on our breath. Take a deep breath and bring it into your body. Allow the mind to follow the breath, coming inward, deep inside, and exhale. And as you exhale, feel the relaxation. Breathe in again. If there's any place in your body that needs attention, and relax. And then once more, let us breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relaxation. Now on this next breath, as you exhale, float to a meadow, to a beautiful place where you find yourself walking in nature, seeing trees and flowers. Some of the flowers perhaps are just budding with the springtime equinox energy. And others are in full bloom. Walk among the flowers and and touch the petals of the flowers and feel the silky softness of the flower or the waxy of, of it. And as you touch the flower, it releases a fragrance and you breathe that into your body, feeling how it changes your body, bringing it lighter and freer. Walk to a tree in your meadow and feel the bark. Place your hands on that tree trunk and feel the pulse of the tree. Get very quiet and sensitive. Become one with that tree and feel the energy flowing up from the roots and the energy coming down from the leaves of the tree. Look up into the canopy and see the light filtering through. And as the leaves rustle in the wind, the sunlight appears to be dancing. And that also lifts you. Hear water in a brook, and you go over to that brook and put your hands in the water, reach in and cup that water and drink, feeling the coolness of the water as it tickles and goes down your throat and into your body. Feel refreshed and revitalized. Lift it up. Feel happy and joyous in this meadow. Look up into the sky and see the brilliant blue of the sky and the puffy white clouds. And then in the distance there is that seven terraced mountain. And this mountain draws you over the bridge and into the first terrace garden, the red garden of expectancy. Here along the pathway are roses flowing over and cascading down trellises. Smell the fragrance of rose. See other flowers along the pathways, the tulips, the geraniums, flowers that perhaps you have, don't know the name of, but they look wonderful and happy and exciting. And feel response within, way deep within yourself of that vitality in you and allow it to come bubbling up, giving you strength and power and energy for this experience. I expect to be changed by this experience because I have decided it. And with that feeling of expectancy, I float higher now to the orange garden. Here I pause a moment and reflect on those patterns that are ready to be let go of. I forgive myself for anything I'm hanging on to, and I allow that energy just to flow downward back into the earth, to be used as compost, to be added to that energy that I feel, the lightness, the freedom. And now to the yellow garden of new life, of springtime energies, new beginnings. I see the tulips, the yellow tulips, the forsythian, and the daffodils dancing along the pathway. I feel joy in my step. My heart is light. And I float higher now to the green garden of living love. Here on this garden, I sense the presence of my teacher walking with me. I 
I feel the flow of love between us. It lifts me, brings me joy on all levels of my body, my mind, my spirit. I feel balanced, in harmony with life. And together with my teacher, we float higher now to the blue garden. And here I walk past the still blue lake and feel that response of stillness within me. Each step I take here is a prayer, is a prayer of peace that my steps on this earth is a blessing. And now float higher to the violet garden of responsibility, knowing that if I am one in alignment with the will of God, that those talents that I've been giving and those opportunities God can work through me to bless others. I give thanks for these talents and abilities, knowing that I will be placed at the right time and the right moment to be of service, to be giving. And now the cloud parts, and I move up into the white garden, the mountain top, and I feel that oneness with all life. I feel perfect love. I feel and know I am the light of the world because God's love is strong in me. Find a place here that you might sit and be still and to go into the silence Go deep, that you might sit and become ever more conscious of that source of light and life that lives in you. Be silent now. And here in the silence, allow to come forth the love and the blessings and the understandings from Carol Ann's talk today, from those inspirational readings, from the music played by John. Allow all that to go deeper and deeper within you, that you might become aware of the connectedness of all life that you might be inspired, that you would be in touch with the joy of the sharing of these. And with each breath you take, you feel that love in your heart expand and go and flow outwards. Pray now, if you want to, for those whose names or faces come to you, send out your love and this healing energy to them. Pray for your family, your friends. Pray for this world. Surround the earth with your love and healing energies, with the Christ energies. Hold that love surrounding the earth.
And we pray for this fellowship center and for the pastors here and the board of directors that we all might be open to the guidance of the Christ. And now let us prepare to come down on the terraces. We feel renewed and strengthened. And we flow now into the violet garden of responsibility, but also of gratitude and thanksgiving. As was said earlier, everything around you, see the joy in it, be lifted by the joy and the happiness. And let your smile lift others. And now into the blue garden of peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding as the Christ expresses more and more through you. And now into the green garden of living love, that love that bubbles forth and flows to all of God's creations, all of God's people, touching the hearts, feeling the oneness. Now into the yellow garden of new life, new purpose. I can, I will, I am. And joy flow now to the orange garden where you let go of the old so you can embrace a new way of being, of allowing first love to flow out of you instead of a fear, knowing that love is the way to communicate with others. And now into the red garden, feeling excitement for today as I step out of this experience. Be aware of joy in front of you and around you. Take a deep breath now and walk into your meadow, feeling nature, feeling a oneness here with life. And now breathe in again and take that light that is you and allow it to flow through your physical body through your head and down through the neck and the shoulders and the arms, flowing, healing, vibrant energy down through the trunk of your body, allowing all systems become in harmony and balance, flowing, flowing now through your legs, the knees and the feet, and grounded into this earth. Be that conduit. That energy from the heavens comes down through you and blesses the earth and all of life. And give thanks for this experience and have a blessed day.